Today, while mentioning the grand banquet, I believe the first one appearing in people's minds is Man Han Quan Xi, Manchu Han Imperial Feast. This banquet has a minimum of one hundred zero eight dishes, combining Manchu dishes and Han Chinese dishes. Actually, Manchu Han Imperial Feast appeared in the Republican period. No such banquet in the Qing Dynasty. In the Qing Dynasty, there were Man Xi. The Manchu Imperial Feast and the Han Xi, the Han Chinese Imperial Feast. This was because Qing rulers were Manchuria people, and they had Manchuria style food, which the Han Chinese didn't like very much. So, according to the attendants, the emperor used different dishes. In the imperial feast, for example, in the Qing Dynasty, there were three most important festivals, called the Three Da Jie, including Yuan Dan, Dong Zhi, and Wan Shou Jie. Today, Yuan Dan is New Year's Day, which is January first, but in the Qing Dynasty. Yuan Dan was the first day of the Chinese New Year, which is now called the Da Nian Chu Yi. Dong Zhi is winter solstice, and Wan Shou Jie is the Empress' birthday. Qing emperors used Manchu Imperial Feast to celebrate those three festivals. Because most attendants were Royal Clan members, Manchuria nobles, and Manchuria government officers, after the imperial examination, the emperor had formal meals with people who passed the final round of the imperial examination. Because most winners were Han Chinese. The banquet used Han Chinese Imperial Feast. Manchu Imperial Feast must have bo bo zhuo. The word bo bo has wide meanings. In northern China, food made of flour usually were called bo bo. For example, in the TV drama Ruyi's Rou Yu Lao. During Ru Yi and Qianlong's wedding ceremony, they eat dumplings. Those dumplings wish them to have lots of kids. So those dumplings were called the Zi Sun Bo Bo. In the Manchu Imperial Feast, Bo Bo is equal to desserts or sweets. Bo Bo Zhu means put. Bobo on the table. According to the status of attendants, they used different table. For example, the emperor and the empress used Da Yan Zhuo, Grand Banquet Table. Mongolian nobles used Ban Zhuo, and the consuls used Zhai Niao Zhuo. The bobo were put on the table layer by layer. For example, the bobo zhuo was used on the empress daughter Chongqing's birthday. Because the empress daughter was considered as late empress, empress, so she used da yan zhuo. Sometimes a red wooden board was put on the. Bobo, then put another bobo on the board, just like what we see in the picture of Guangxu's wedding ceremony. In the imperial banquet, bobo zhuo wasn't only the decoration; people did eat those bobo. 
In 1791, Qianlong was 80 years old. At an imperial banquet, he complained the bubble on his table was too hard, and required He Shen to ask what happened. The imperial cooks explained that because those bubble needed to be put layer by layer. They must be made a little hard. For me, this explanation is reasonable. But Qianlong didn't care. He did punish the people who made those bubbles. Thank you for watching this video.